Hello and welcome to Defect of the Month, brought to you by the NPL Defect Database. My name is Bob Willis, and this month let's talk about uh, damage to components during intrusive reflow. Well, intrusive reflow, basically, we're reflowing through whole components. We're using solder paste to make the solder joint, and it's quite a common process used in both consumer electronics and military environments. The key thing is making sure the component is compatible with the process. So basically use the same temperature guidelines you use for your surface mount components for your through hole parts. If we're talking about connectors, most connectors can be available in a tin lead version and a lead free version or a low temperature and a high temperature version. And the key thing is making sure you select the right component. Make sure you look for the actual temperature requirements. As a basic guide, look at the peak temperature. And you would expect a connector uh, suitable for reflow soldering should be able to stand up to 260 degrees Celsius.